Despite world record levels of pollution by mercury and PCB, herbivorous animals or those close to the bottom of the food chain have very low levels of contamination. Animals at the top of the food chain, on the other hand, accumulate mercury and PCB to an, an alarming degree. Här på Svalbard så är det då isbjörn, polarrev och polarmåker som har de högsta nivåerna av eh, för exempel PCB. När det gäller organiska miljögifter så är det slik att vi ser att det är då olika nivå i olika arter av sjöfugl. De sjöfåglar som spiser mat som är från lägre trofisk nivå, de har väldigt lägre nivå av miljögifter. De arter som spiser fisk, de får då ett högre nivå, men de som är utgör toppen av näringskedjan, det vill säga si, sånt som polarmåker och svartback, de har de högsta nivåerna. Väldigt tunn, helt av magra. Så den ska vi ta in i laboratoriet och så ska vi ta pröva den inne. The emaciated condition of this bird has special significance. The environmental toxin PCB accumulates in fat, so when the gull draws on its fat reserves, PCB is released into the blood. Climatic conditions, high pressure and low pressure, are what cause large air masses filled with pollutants from industries in Europe, Russia, Asia and North America to be pumped up to the Arctic. This is particularly true in the winter and spring. And transportation on the air is surprisingly fast. A discharge in Europe can reach the Arctic in a matter of days. And in the space of a few weeks, environmental toxins can be absorbed into the Arctic food chain. Contaminants conveyed via the sea are considerably slower. It is thought that there could be a delayed effect of up to several decades before some chemicals reach the Arctic. Studies of polar bears in East Greenland and Svalbard show a higher level of contamination. The polar bear have higher PCB levels than any other Arctic species, which is due to its location at, at the very top of the Arctic food chain. It eats uh, the ring seal, mainly the blubber, due to the higher energy content, which is about 50% higher. But the ring seal stores more than energy in its blubber. It also stores the lipophilic substances like persistent organic pollutants and organic mercury as well. A polar bear of 200 kilo will ingest more than a ton of uh, blubber uh, within a year, which is a, a tremendous amount of PCBs. Studies of polar bears indicate that high levels of PCB affect the hormonal system and lead to a weakened immune response possibly to a degree that will affect the polar bear's survival capacity.